What's up YouTube and welcome back to the Anabolic Outpost. And this will be my first video uploaded in the month of June, which means that summer is officially here. And if you are one of the several people that have been commenting on my videos looking for my Anabolic Ice Cream videos, it is officially that time for me to start rolling them out. And I do have quite a few recipes, not only for the standard style Anabolic Ice Cream popularized by Greg Doucette and made by many other creators. But there are many more that will follow of different replications and different types of frozen treats. All headlining over the same category and allowing you to get your summer ice cream fix in without all the extra calories. And if you've seen my channel as of late, you've noticed the theme of Biscoff recipes and this is no exception. Presenting my anabolic Biscoff cookie ice cream. And there are quite a few pieces that go into making this recipe, as well as a bunch of different steps, so let me jump straight into it by rattling off all the ingredients that you will need. The first one here is fat-free Greek yogurt, fat-free milk or the milk of your choosing, Biscoff cookies of course, my anabolic Biscoff cookie butter spread, I will link the tutorial for this down below, or you could use the store-bought version if you have the extra calories, sucralose or your sweetener of choice, xanthan gum, Egg whites. Next up is this sugar free, fat free chocolate jello pudding mix. Walden Farms chocolate syrup. And the last ingredient is salt. That was a lot of ingredients, but that is all what goes into making a perfect anabolic ice cream. And even through listing all of those ingredients, I totally just skipped over the protein powder, which I am adding in right now. And I am actually using two different flavors for this, using both the cake pop flavor and the chocolate cupcake from PE Science, adding in 20 grams of each. And you may not have exactly what I have, so don't worry, try to find something comparable. If not, just use straight on chocolate or whatever you got. I'm sure it will taste amazing. I'm going to go ahead and slip in two of the four Biscoff cookies for this recipe. I like to blend these two in so the ice cream has the Biscoff flavor, and then I will crumble the other two on top at the end. Next is that chocolate pudding jello mix. I'm only going to add in 7 grams. I think the entire package has 28, but you have four servings of ice cream right there in that jello packet. Now throwing in the anabolic ice cream staple in the xanthan gum with a total of 4 grams. Next is 3 grams of that sucralose sweetener. Of course, if you're using a different sweetener, just translate it over for how much you need to add. And the last of the dry ingredients is the salt, adding in 3 grams. Yes, I know that is an excessive amount of salt. Of course, if you're on a low sodium diet, you don't even have to add any salt at all. But in my mind, zero calories worth of salt, that's a win-win for the flavor that it gives. And we're going to go ahead and quickly blend up the dry ingredients here until they're thoroughly mixed. Moving on to the wet ingredients here, I'm adding in 90 grams of milk. Going in next is 115 grams of the fat-free Greek yogurt. I got a little freebie sample cup here if you're wondering, so I'm just going to kill it for this recipe. I'm pouring in my egg whites now, measuring out at 45 grams. And the last of the wet ingredients here, 15 grams of Walden Farms chocolate syrup. I'm now going to go ahead and blend it up again for the second of three times before we add the ice. Once again, just make sure that it's thoroughly mixed, doesn't have to be super blended or anything like that. I figured I'd give a quick texture check here just to make sure that we're on the same page. And even a quick flip test before we even add the ice. Turning out pretty good so far. And now to make this ice cream, I am adding the ice, shoveling it directly from my freezer for maximum freshness, adding a total of 300 grams of ice. And as I'm shoveling the ice here, I would like to clarify that I do use a little less ice than typically involved in anabolic ice cream. And I know I'm going to make some people mad by saying this, but you do not get filled up eating straight ice and xanthan gum like is in this anabolic ice cream. I do like to make it have a lot of volume, don't get me wrong, and I feel like this amount of ice does it justice. And in my opinion, I do think it's a little ridiculous to add this amount of ice just so it has the volume. You're ruining the flavor, and like I said, you just end up feeling bloated and not actually full by the end of it. Of course, if it's different for you, you could just ignore what I said. And feel free to up the ice in here as much as you'd like. That's all the freedom of these recipes. 
And once you got the ice in, you would go ahead and blend it till it's smooth. It should take about 3 to 4 minutes. And it's pretty satisfying here to see the xanthan gum go to work as it fills up the blender and rises all the way to the top. And like I said, it does take a little bit of effort here to get it blended and smooth with no ice chunks inside, especially depending on your blender. But you can see here it passes all the tests and it's incredibly thick for something that was made out of a blender with ice and protein powder. And for me, a satisfying moment every time once I pull the blades out of the blender and you can see just how thick this is as it sticks to the insides. And you could go ahead and transfer it, of course, into one giant bowl or into individual servings, however you want to distribute it. And here is that Biscoff spread I was mentioning earlier. Link for the video in the description if you want to make this. It's super simple, only like four ingredients, I think. And it is definitely worth it as it's probably my favorite part of the ice cream here. It is incredibly thick though, so good luck trying to spread it on your own. But if you could just throw it into a Ziploc baggie and cut the corner, you got a little makeshift pastry bag here, and you could just go in a zigzag pattern across the top of your ice cream. And if you're one of those people that have had anabolic ice cream before and just thought it was overrated or didn't quite liking, the toppings are what makes it, and this Biscoff spread along with the Biscoff cookies are what you are looking for in every bite of this ice cream to make it savorable. Not to say the ice cream is not good, but don't look over this step like it's just a garnish. And for the cookies here, you could throw them in a bag of their own and crush them into small pieces if you'd like, like I've done in the past. But for presentation sakes, I'm just going to split them in half and throw them right on top and just crack them as I'm eating it. And I'm also going to throw some of this fat-free whipped cream on top. Only 5 calories a serving, so you really can't go wrong with throwing this stuff on any of your anabolic ice cream recipes. And there it is, my beautifully presented Anabolic Biscoff Cookie Ice Cream. Really starting to put a focus on my presentation more, so forgive me if I was a little hyped over this one looked. But I guess we could only tell by the views it gets, because this is going straight onto the thumbnail. I guess the only thing I have left to do now is give the macro breakdown for this recipe. In total, it has 54 grams of protein, with 56 grams of carbs, only 10 grams of fat, for a total of 475 calories. For only 475 calories, look at this massive bowl of ice cream compared to something like half a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream that you would get calorie wise. Probably not even reaching that as I've seen those pints way over a thousand calories in themselves. But if you were one of those kids like me, growing up and getting dessert and only getting like a cookie of two and of course not being satisfied after eating them. I'm sure I know exactly how you feel after viewing this and knowing that you could binge on desserts guilt free. And of course if you liked this one there's many more to come in the future like I said and if you do have any suggestions or recommendations for a flavor I should do definitely comment them down below and I will get back to you and potentially you could see it in an upcoming video. I guess I'll also address this at the end of the video because if you've stuck around all the way to the end you are probably a true anabolic outpost supporter instead of saying at the beginning and losing all of your attention. I have been slacking a little bit on my videos lately compared to the normal two times a week schedule that I was pretty strict on starting off with this channel. And I've wrote a little bit more on my Instagram about that at Anabolic Outpost if you want to read that on my recent post. But the videos may continue to be about once a week until I get stuff straightened out including working on a huge upcoming project for this channel which I know that you guys will enjoy in the future. There's not a lot I want to give away on that. Look for it towards 1000 subscribers though because I do want to reward the community for all the support you've given on the Anabolic Outpost. So I do apologize, but it will all be worth it in the end. That is all I got though for today's video. If you did enjoy this recipe, found it helpful and delicious, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.